have the top 10 cheap wingers in all of FC24. Beautiful people, welcome back to the channel. As always, make sure to get involved. Let me know your thoughts. We're keeping all players under 200K. So we did a little slight bump, but most of them are coming in extra, extra affordable. The only disclaimer I have is that each player must be able to organically play as a winger. Doesn't matter if it's on the left or it's on the right. Honorable mentions. Yeah, that's right. We're jumping right to it. Pele, 89 overall, 50,000 coins. We know that he has the track record, has the hero capability, if you will. There's plenty of upgrades coming, but sometimes it's good to go with the sure thing. Neymar, a little bit of that Brazilian flair. I still have a lot of trust in his first touches. I will say he's on the cusp, but if your pocketbooks are light for 30,000 coins, Neymar is still viable even as a rare gold. Politano, who I see mentioned in the comments time and time again, when we talk about value, someone that can be an asset. I'm not a full believer in all of these stats, but again, at 30,000 coins, give or take, might even get cheaper. It doesn't make sense to not give him an opportunity. Let him showcase something. Da da da, da da da, ESPN Dabala. We're talking SBC, one of the best SBCs for what you're spending to what you're receiving maybe 150k but that's also SBC pricing which it's hard to go one-to-one -one because it's so difficult to generate coins that market value versus SBC value they're not really hand in hand last of the honorable mentions I've got Mane who could be positioned as a striker. He's a little more of an offensive winger. And what I mean by that is he's not the ultimate provider if you're going to whip in a bunch of crosses. But Mane slept on, overlooked, not talked about, put some respect on his name. All he's been is consistent and reliable. Good money spent. Just over 100K, and that price is likely to come down even a little bit more. At number 10, and I'm a man of principle. We've got the likes of Malin. You might have seen his Evo in action. This 88 before any additional upgrades is achievable. And he's going to get busy. He might strike a little bit of fear. Five foot ten, four star skills, four star weak foot. But the purple rendition, the man is making a statement. And again, could be considered maybe even a little more of a striker in some ways just an offensive floater might sneak up on you with some of the physicality and you've got dribbling play styles on deck including a play style plus and trickster so we're gonna get expressive at number nine i've got pires and hear me out this could be a little bit of a wild card choice pires has always been an icon that sort of under delivers but for 150,000 coins, that's not a bad risk to reward. You've got a lot of room or margin to get that return of investment, even if his track record has not been the best. At six foot two, that might sound good on paper, but I feel like that's been a detriment throughout his FC or FIFA career. Now with the upgraded five-star skills or five-star weak foot, your choice. The dribbling is up to a 94 with those skill moves. And we're gonna double dip with play styles. Finesse shot, trickster, which if you're out wide, this is something that I cannot stress enough. If you're good with some of the skills, the expression, the cancellations, you got that deceptive nature in your locker. And I just feel that players, especially guys that maybe you question how well they can move, this gives them a little bit of that added confidence. It's an ego booster. At number eight, I've got Futra. And he just feels like an authentic winger. It's the best way that I could kind of break it down. This is definitely where he should be. And if you've got a bigger budget, I would go ahead and upgrade yourself the best version of this item. Five foot nine, high low work rate, five star skills, the pace and the dribbling. You have no questions. Ferrari down the wings, if you will. And he's got that little hero bump. And not that you need it, but you picked up some extra helping within the dribbling sector. At number seven, we're looking at the brand spanking new money, Mares. Who, ironically, will only cost you 50K. Discount shopping. Five-star skills, five-star weak foot. I would like to insert a little disclaimer. He might not be for everyone. He's better suited as a build-up winger. He's not going to give you that extra burner. You might ask, what do you mean? He's never been known for a sprint speed, and even with all of these upgrades, it's still only an 85. So if you're trying to turn and burn, leave someone for dust, Mares might not be your first choice. But when you get near that final third and you need to create something out of nothing, a long range effort, a ball roll into a Travella, this guy can do it. And I like him kind of as a floating attacker. 
I've used him as a center attacking mid, even a center forward in a little more of a false nine setup. He's dangerous. Might be a trend in the video, but we got a technical for a play style plus. We've got the first touch on a play style plus. This man is going to be icy, spot on, and intricate. At number six, I've got Grimaldo, and you might say, Mike, isn't he a left back? He can play as a winger. I often find him being used to whip in crosses as a facilitator, the big switches. And if you needed someone who could play a little bit of defense, early spoiler, he's the best of the bunch. Currently available as an SBC that will cost you 60, 65,000 coins. You've got high, high work rates, four star skills, five star weak foot. And again, it depends what you're looking for. This will be your best chase back option and the dribbling and the responsiveness is phenomenal. Did I mention passing? Incisive, and then he also has that whip to pass, which is so important for whipping in crosses. We love an anticipate and a jockey, which I believe deals so much with the side to side movement. I always talk about that parallel park. Grimaldo's got that in his locker. At number five, Steve McManaman, which might be a surprise to some of you, but this is a good return from a value investment. Present day, still a wild dynamic image. We don't know what's happening. Who's he looking at? He's sending prayers to the FC gods. Four star skills, four star weak foot, greens all over the place. Personally, his dribbling surprises you. Has that hero bump. I like a lot of these perp options. Not gonna cost you an arm or a leg. And he comes with a technical plus. Number four, we've got the Frenchman Jolie. Feels like a winger, acts like a winger, performs like a winger, and we're going back to back heroes on the virtual pitch skills weak foot and if you want that cruise in usa which is a throwback reference to an incredible arcade game if you remember cruise in usa i expect a comment certified classic pace passing dribbling the real deal all the offensive characteristics you could ask for with julie greens everywhere can i get a hashtag organics for the man julie and it's becoming more regular but add in another helper of eight play styles at number three and if anything there's a lot of credit to Vinny. i still feel the fear even at an 89 gold version he can get on the pitch and be an impact player still one of the quickest first steps in the game current market value around 120k but again because he's still being packed that price is coming down got the five star skills and did i mention the pace did i mention the dribbling did I mention that this man is fast? I'm talking rapid. No denying the talent. And if that wasn't enough, he has the quick step for a play style plus. At number two, and I like proven players, we're throwing it back to Hanson. And we've got the inform, most expensive player on the list at 190,000 coins. She's part of that Barcelona super team and full transparency. I never thought we'd see an upgradable or a colorful version of Hansen that was affordable. Not at this point of the game, at least. Five star skills, five foot 10, four star weak foot. I don't think you need the breakdown. She has been doing everything on the virtual pitch from the jump. One of the most overpowered players, absolute demon when it gets close to the 90th minute. Good luck going up against Hansen. You don't want to see it. And it's been a theme amongst the wingers. You line up everything in the ball control section. And if you get a play style plus in Trickster, the Razzle and the Dazzle, you could count on it. At number one, and it might be a surprise choice, I have Swanson. From a biased perspective, I have been waiting for this upgrade. She feels like a pro clubs player introduced to ultimate team. Five star skills, five star weak foot. We had the 86. Now we've got the 90. Only going to run you up a tab of 150,000 coins. And I'm telling you, I think that price is even getting cheaper. Speed kills. And she's got plenty of that. Responsiveness, first touch, dribbling, able to recycle, replenish, rehydrate, never tired. And the best example, and I might beat it home, I'll keep it on repeat, is if you've played a lot of pro clubs, you got that winger that is just taking advantage of everyone on the virtual pitch, can leak out, can beat someone in a 1v1, can just knock it around your opposition. And not that it was necessary with 96 pace, but why not give her a rapid play style plus? She's taking souls on the virtual pitch. That's my list. I look forward to the comment section. You can tell me some different wingers that fit into the equation for you. And if you have any questions around player selection, put that in the comment section. I will reply to everyone and give you my choice based on the players provided because I feel like that's a constant and I wanna provide 
as much value as possible to all of you. And as always, we'll have a lot more content coming out ASAP, ASAP. Do not leave this video without hitting that subscription button. We appreciate you.